uh, welcome all of you to this video of Maths Made Easy. We are going to take up ratio and proportion important questions. Of course, in ratio and proportion, you have important questions uh, which is based on component and dividend. Okay, so I'm not taking up sums on component and dividend because what I feel is you must be doing a lot of question papers on component and dividend. So you need need not I need not tell about that anymore. Uh, then there are sums where there are uh, component to be dividend to based questions based on identities a plus b whole square and a minus b uh, a plus b whole cube kind of questions where uh, on using component and dividend you get a uh, you get an identity and then you use the identity and then you get your sum so those are the two types i am just mentioning yes they are also important types but then i need not do them here because you are already doing them let's come to some other about three questions which i find is little different and uh, in the exam you might have trouble in doing this but there is a high uh, chance of this kind of sums coming in your exams okay so let's see quickly here i want to tell here i want to tell all of you uh, that if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe it uh, because i shall be uploading 11 standard maths very soon okay so once i finish once this ICSC gets over i shall be uploading isa topics that is from icc 11th and 12th and also cbsa 11th and 12th i shall be uploading uh, basic concepts very very soon in maths okay then now here they have given us the value of they have given us the value of p and they want to find the value of this what we'll do now here when we look at this it looks like a component or dividend right so here uh, we have all we have to do is get a 2x under this so from this we will do a little bit of change from here i'm taking out 2x what is left here is what is left here is clearly this is clearly 2y left because that makes a 4xy by x plus y okay and now i'm going to use component and dividend on this p plus 2x p minus 2x right and that is equal to 2y plus x plus y and 2y minus x minus y right and that is going to give me um, x plus 3y and uh, this is minus x plus y right so i'll stop here I'll stop here because I got this portion. Let me take up the other portion now. Now I will change this in such a way that I get P by 2Y. So from here, I'll try and get P by 2Y. And what is that equal to? 2X by X plus Y. Back to component and dividend of P plus 2Y, P minus 2Y. That is 2X plus X plus Y and 2X minus X minus Y. That is equal to 3X plus Y and x minus y okay so this is now i have got the two parts this is one part required and this is the other part that is required so now what i can do is i can p plus 2x and this this plus this i'll be adding so here what i get on on adding i'm writing it straight here x plus 3y okay by minus x plus y plus 3x plus y and x minus y okay now here if i want to uh, make it look alike then what i'll do is without further thinking this is y minus x right here i'll put a minus sign and i will just put a bracket here because this minus is not only for the 3x but for both of them so and here I'll make it y minus x. See, I'm getting back my minus y plus x. But why I did it? I need the denominator same. Okay. Once I get the same denominator, x plus 3y minus 3x minus y, right? And y minus x. How much is this? So here I have minus 2x plus 2y by y minus x. That is, take the 2 out it comes to y minus x y minus x okay that is equal to a 2 that comes to a 2 so for this okay the sum of this is equal to a 2 so what is the why did i why did i take up this question the only reason why i took up this question is just this idea to make it p by 2x how do you make it to p by 2x from here and how do you make it p by 2y from here in order to get this rest you can do 
okay and then apply component of n dividend okay so let's come to the next very important question this is my next question okay this is given this is to be proved that is this part has to be equal to this how do we prove it now i can clearly see here i'm getting something like x cube by a cube here also cube here also cube let me just cube them okay this is isn't it if i cube both sides if i cube this i'll have to cube this also so cubing both sides i get this now if i add them so if i add the lhs this side will come to x cube by a cube plus again x cube by a cube. I hope you understand this is equal to this one substituting plus x cube by a cube because they were all equal. So I wrote this. Now why did I write? I wrote because otherwise I can't add. Okay, it is difficult for me to add if I don't write like this. 3x cube by a cube. Okay, which comes to 3 x by a y x by a and a x by a which is 3 x by a y by b and z by c that is equal to 3 x y z by a b c is equal to r h s okay hence proved so this is my sum quickly done it's not difficult it is this is one kind of a sum you will look at it you'll think that yes it is very easy but then somehow you know the calculation will not go on smoothly so i'm just trying to do these and try to show you how you can do it very very smoothly logically okay and fast without writing too much okay let's move on to the next important question here this is one question they want m by n first and then they want the value of this so let's start quickly when you see this no other method go for a linear equation straight away okay let's go for a linear equation this this is kind of the ratio kind of sums uh, that you have in your coordinate geometry so let's quickly move on to uh, this is 21 m plus 6 n that is equal to 35 m minus 10 n okay bring all the m's to one side that is 14 m this side is 16 n okay m by n is 16 by 14 m by n is a 8 by 7 okay so we got our m by n first value got next is this how to handle this now here what best can be done is a, divide the numerator with the n square and the denominator also with the n square now this is one question which is definitely not component or dividend or don't go for component or dividend or it looks like that but it isn't so here this is pi n square plus 1 m square by n square minus 1 i have divided the denominator and the numerator by n square okay because when you divide the numerator you have to divide the denominator also okay m by n i already know so i'll make it 64 by 49 plus 1 and a 64 by 49 minus 1 49 is my lcm isn't it so 49 is my lcm in that case what i'll do 60 4 plus 49 the lcm goes on cancellation 64 this much you can uh, leave out in 10th standard minus 49 which is 113 by 15 okay so this is my final answer if they want it in uh, a mixed fraction give them to in mixed fraction even this is good enough okay so these were few of the questions i found little different you saw now in all the questions uh, in in these uh, i didn't use in this one or in the previous one the second question i didn't use component and dividend at all okay of course in the first question i did use component and dividend but mark how we came to the position using component and dividend so please keep on watching the videos as i upload them i shall be uploading physics chemistry and maths all three okay and if you if you haven't subscribed the channel till now please subscribe because uh, later on I shall also be uploading for 11th standard maths very very soon. Thanks then. Bye all of you.